by the way, you all know where to place your bets. We are disagreeing, all right? Twice. So you, twice. Twice. You're disagreeing twice. So you know where to place your bets. Do you know if you go over three? If we're being real, we only put one video out this week, so we do have to bring up something that happened to us last week. In our prediction video, we picked the Texans to beat the Browns. Well, obviously that didn't happen. So here's the thing. We got a little bit of controversy. We either went one for three or we went two for three. Now I'm going to play the clip real quick of what we said, and you guys have to determine if we went one for three or two for three. If C.J. Stroud is going to be playing, which I think he will be, Texans are going to win this. Uh, what do you think? You heard what we said. Honestly, I think we went two for three with that because we specifically said C.J. Stroud had to play. Of course we're not going to pick them to win if he's not playing. That's, That's like picking the Patriots back in the day when Tom Brady was playing and Tom Brady's out. You still going to pick the Patriots? It's a completely different game. That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, so and we think we went two for three, but you guys have to let us know in the comment section. And and this is important for me. This would this be the first time I went one for three. We, we cannot have that. And uh -uh. at the very worst case, well, welcome to the team. I've been there. Yeah. <laughs> at the very worst case, we should just wipe that one from the board and say you went one for two. 50%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but. two. Anyway, let's move on to the games here. What do we got first? First up today, we are predicting the Lions Cowboys. Man, here's the thing. The Lions and the Cowboys are historically bad franchises who can't win big games. Which is worse, Lions. The Lions for sure, yeah. but also the Cowboys for the last 25 years have also been just as bad. It's bad. It's actually longer. Do they have a one since like 94? Yeah. We talking almost 30 years now. I want to hear your thoughts. You always and then I'll, Exactly, first. man. That's what I'm saying. And that's why you get better picks than me. All right. So I'm going to surprise you and not give you my thoughts, but I will tell you who I pick. Yeah. I pick the Lions. Whoa. Dang. That's crazy. I was thinking of picking the Cowboys. I can't pick them. It's too close to the playoffs. They might be thinking about the playoffs. See, here's the thing. The Lions, Jared Goff, they lost to the dang Bears, man. They almost lost to the Bears twice. I know. I don't have any faith in Jared Goff, which means I don't have much faith in the Lions. So that means you are on the Cowboys bandwagon, and you are all about that Dak Prescott. The Dak attack going into the playoffs, you're all on board? Is that what you're saying? I need you to say that if that's who you're I'm picking. I'm not all in on board with them going into the playoffs. I'm on board for them winning this game. So you are on. You heard it here, folks. He is a Cowboy fan thinking they're going to wow. win. <laughs> no. Wow. On to the next one. Here we go. All right, next up, we got the Dolphins, Ravens, and my compadre, the Cowboys fan, is going to start us off this time. I'm picking the Ravens. That's fair. I also picked the Ravens. We, I guess we should discuss a little bit more, but it's pretty straightforward. Here's the thing. They beat the 49ers in a pretty big blowout of a game. Ugly but honestly, if, if there weren't four dang turnovers in their side of the field... This would be a completely different game. As it was, Brock Purdy threw like two or three interceptions, and it still was a game going into half, man. Yeah. Uh, like, th there was a point where they had two or three turnovers on their side of the field, and it was still a game. So I don't think the Ravens are as good as everybody keeps saying they are, but also the Dolphins are nowhere near as good as their record shows. I mean, come on. You barely beat the Wow Boys last week. Come on now. And they're not playing at home. And they're not playing at home. Now, here's while well, we're talking about the Ravens. Yeah. There's this thing going around that says every GM that tried to not sign Lamar Jackson should be immediately fired after this season performance. What? I'm telling you, everyone's on this bandwagon. What? Lamar Jackson isn't even having that good of a year, man. Dude, they are praising him and putting him on the throne, saying he's the best thing to football since sliced bread and Tom Brady. What drugs did they take this holiday season? A lot of eggnog. That's what they took. <laughs> Anyways, I think it's a horrible take, so that's why I brought it up. That's an atrocious take. That is pathetic of a take. Come on now. Lamar Jackson isn't having that good of a year, all right? Everybody relax. If he was having that good of a year, he would be the runaway MVP. Instead, they might give it to now Christian McCaffrey, who is the team that his team just whooped. All right, let's move on. The right. last game, a big one, the Saints-Buccaneers. Man... I don't like it, 
I don't understand why the Buccaneers are trying this year. Mother truckers didn't try nothing last year. They were like, man, we got Tom Brady. We don't got to do nothing, man. You know, I ain't got no worries. I got a good contract. Yeah. Don't need to try it. We won Super Bowl. We're so good. Yeah. And now this year, everybody's contract's coming up, and they're all trying, and they're all freaking putting effort in. Where was this effort last year, mother truckers? It's a hot take Tuesday. You're saying you love the Cowboys and are a diehard fan, and now you're saying that the Buccaneers weren't trying last year. And they weren't trying. Year. Look at the effort this year. Come on now. Let the record show he did not deny being a diehard. I'm Cowboys not fan. a diehard. It's too late now. I'm not a diehard Cowboys fan. Come on now. I don't even know if I want to pick this dang game. Come on, truckers don't try. You got to pick first. I'm picking the Saints. Man, I think I gotta pick the dang Buccaneers. Mother trucker. I don't wanna pick the Bucks, but I think I gotta pick the Bucks. Dang it. This is upsetting. Well, on that note, we're gonna take off for the day because he's filled with anger and we're only going down the rabbit hole. So By the way, you all know where to place your bets. We are disagreeing, alright? Twice. So you, twice. Twice. We're disagreeing twice. So you know where to place your bets. Do you know what if you go over three? That means you at least missed one. Yeah, it does, but that means I went two for three. But if you want to make a lot of money this next week, bet against me. Yeah, so that means pick the Cowboys and pick the Buccaneers. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Before we take off. Yes. What happens if I go place a bet on you? Does then that counteract my luck and the bet will lose because that's more important and yes. then I'll actually be right? Yeah. I think I'm going to do that here this week, folks, so maybe you should bet on me because I'm betting on him. Dang it. You found a way out. Mm, that's unfortunate. All right. I don't know who to bet for at this point. If he's actually going to go place a bet on my picks, you know that that ain't going to work, which means you got to bet on him. But also, he's always wrong when we disagree. So good luck with figuring that out. Remember to like, subscribe, let us know what you guys think in the comment section. Until next time, keep it real.